cheeks pretty, isn't it? Break chocolate while waiting for water to boil. Wait a bit for the chocolate to become softer. the same with the remaining colors. Let's make the cake now. Combine the teal mixtures. don't have to cut the cake into many layers. So colorful! Is this cake made really simple, right? coming from a small town on the outskirts of the city. I love making beautiful cakes and sharing amazing stories. Today, let's make a chocolate cake together. Everyone loves chocolate, right? After breaking the eggs and whisking them with sugar, let's add in the flour and fresh milk. Hey there, what are you up to? I've got a gift for you. Wow, that's wonderful! Come in and wait for me! Just in time! I'll use these for the chocolate cake base. Now let's mix the batter evenly. Alright, pour it into the mold and bake for 30 minutes at 300 degree Fahrenheit. Hey Lisa, I have some rainbow chocolates. Try some. Wow, these are absolutely delicious. Our cake is ready, let's cut it. Now, let's pipe the cream between all layers. You're so skillful, Lucy. Thank you for the compliment. With enough practice, you can make beautiful cakes too. Remember to frost the outside of the cake evenly. Thank you. 
Now, let's decorate the cake any way you like. I really enjoyed this part. This is the whipped cream I made. It's so soft that it'll flow gently and look very pretty. Add some sprinkles on top and at the base of the cake. I have some chocolates left. Do you want to learn about them? Wait for me in the next video. Insert a few rainbow chocolate sticks and we're done with the cake. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please comment below. Wow, the cake looks stunning, Lucy. Let's give it a taste. So yummy. Hello, I'm Lucy, and I'm about to take you on a magical journey through a tale. That has warmed the hearts of many in Whimsaville. Lean in, and let's embark on this adventure together. In the enchanting town of Whimsaville, where wonders never cease, sat Mrs. Hazel's Curious Curiosities, a store of magic and peace. One radiant day, Mia, a curious girl with stars in her eyes, stumbled into the shop. Among a myriad of wonders, a humble teacup drew her surprise. Hello, young traveler. I am Toby, the teacup with tails. A talking teacup? How did that come to be? Gifted by an enchantress to an explorer, I traveled the globe. When the explorer retired, he enchanted me with the gift of Gab to share stories untold. Every evening, children gathered, enraptured by Toby's tales of floating islands, dragon races, and underwater palaces where mermaids left shimmering trails. But as days went by, Mia noticed Toby's vibrant spirit begin to wane. Toby, what weighs on your ceramic heart? One tale remains incomplete, the quest for the enchanted orchid. Its petals hold the power to grant a single wish, and I've always dreamt of seeing it. Then let's embark on an adventure, together! and Toby navigating maps, sailing on cloud boats, deciphering riddles from ancient talking trees, dancing with Willow, the Wisps, and being guided by constellations. They ventured through the whispering woods where trees told secrets, scaled the luminous peaks glowing under the moonlight, and crossed the sands of time where past, present, and future intertwine. In the heart of the mystical meadow, guarded by creatures of old, they found it. The enchanted orca, shining bright and bold. We did it, Mia. But what should we wish for? Every tale has taught us something. Let's wish for endless stories for everyone to share and enjoy. As Toby and Mia whispered their wish, the orchid's petals shimmered, releasing a mesmerizing glow that spread far and wide. Back in Whimsimil, every child found a magical book by their bedside. Each of them was unique, filled with tales of their own potential adventures inside. Thank you, Mia. Because of you, stories will live on forever. And adventures, Toby, are always better when shared together. From that day, Whimsimil was not just a town of wonder. It became a world of stories, with every child a storyteller. Every dream an adventure, and every moment a chapter waiting to be unfolded. In a universe of tales, Whimsaville remains the heart, where a girl and her talking Tika embarked on quests and gave storytelling a new start. The tales Toby shares bring joy and wonder to the children of Whimsaville. 
This underscores the notion that stories have the power to transport us to different worlds. Inspire imaginations and enrich our lives. Mia and Toby's collaborative quest illustrates the joy of shared experiences. Their journey becomes richer because they undertake it together. Highlighting the idea that life's adventures are more meaningful when shared with others. Mia and Toby, upon finding the enchanted orca, wish not for personal gains, but for endless stories for everyone. This act emphasizes the value of thinking beyond oneself and considering the greater good. I'm so glad for sharing for all of you guys my story. I hope you like it. Have a comment and see you in the next video. Hello everyone. It's me, Lucy, right here in your town. Welcome back to my world of beautiful cakes and heartwarming stories. Gather around, little ones, and let's dive into today's tale together. In a vibrant town called Graceland, the sounds of laughter filled the air. Yet, amidst the joy, a simple gesture was often forgotten, saying thank you. On a sunny morning, Grandma Ada, a wise old woman, walked into Graceland with a tale about a shimmering magic stone of gratitude. This isn't just any stone. It thrives on gratitude. When you express thanks, it glows. But without gratitude, its light dims. Intrigued, young Timmy decided to test it. After borrowing a toy, he uttered a heartfelt thank you. The stone, true to Grandma Ada's words, gleamed brilliantly. Inspired, children around started expressing their gratitude. From shared pencils to playtime turns, thank you echoed everywhere, making the stone shine brightly. But time has its way of making people forget. Slowly, as gratitude waned, the stone's glow diminished. Look at the stone. We must remember to be thankful. We can't let the magic disappear. Realizing its importance, Timmy reminded everyone, every day, about the beauty of saying thank you, of appreciating the big and the small. He spoke of how a simple gesture can warm hearts, bring smiles, and strengthen bonds. The stone's magic is a reflection of the magic within each of us. By saying thank you, we acknowledge and value each other. Timmy's mission became a movement. Gratitude wasn't just a word, it was an emotion, a bridge connecting hearts. Every thank you spreads happiness. It's more than just words, it's a feeling, a gesture that says, I see you, I appreciate you. Graceland transformed. The two words weren't just routine, they were genuine expressions from the heart. Children, remember this gratitude is a gift, a magical force that turns what we have into enough and more. So let us all embrace this gift, this simple act of saying thank you. It's a small word with a big heart. And as the story of Graceland shows, with gratitude in our hearts, we can make the world and our place in it shine a little brighter. Many years passed, and the magic stone, still gleaming brightly, was placed in the heart of Graceland. 
it became a reminder for generations to come. Remember, gratitude is like the sun. Even a little can light up the darkest places. It's not about the stone or its glow, but the warmth we feel and share when we express gratitude. The children of Graceland grew up understanding that true wealth wasn't about having the most, but appreciating the most. Gratitude isn't just for special occasions, it's a daily celebration of the little things that make life special. In life, we may forget many things, but let's never forget to be grateful. For in gratitude, we find joy, connection, and the true essence of living. So next time you feel the magic of a kind gesture, remember to pass it on with a simple thank you. After all, gratitude is a chain of goodness that never ends.